are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. But before we get into it, make sure you guys slap that like button, hit subscribe, and please, please, please give Overlook Bay a chance if you haven't yet. It's so fun. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, Peachy Squad. Today, I am so excited because we finally have the Overlook Bay Halloween update out and ready to rock and roll. And guys, there is so much to do. There's so much gameplay added, and I'm going to be taking you through it all, and I'm super excited. So here we are as you spawn in, guys, next to your house. We have this little, little guy here. He's a little monster. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. So you need 1,500 candy to unlock him, and then you can feed him candy. I don't have any candy. I do go get candy there's like literally so much to do here let's go here and let's break it down just so you guys can see absolutely everything halloween event update equip your ghoul cannon from your inventory to hunt down ghouls equip your trick-or-treat pail from your inventory and go door to door to collect sweet treats that's how you get the candy head down to the crazed caverns and equip your pickaxe from your inventory to start mining this is my favorite part of the update and this is a forever thing in the update like this is not just halloween mining is in the game permanently go to the witch's lair and discover all the magic items the evil witch is selling. Donate your soul to the good witch to help you defeat the evil sister. So let me give you guys a quick little breakdown. So we have an evil witch and a good witch. So if you donate to the good witch, there is going to be a big cause. Look, she's a little dismayed. She's a little upset. So you want to donate your souls to her because if we donate all of our souls to her, we get a big group prize. But if you're feeling just a little bit greedy you can come and donate to the evil witch and get yourself some hello i gotta climb up the ladder i'm not very graceful as we can see we go all the way up here to ezra's chamber buy ghost cannons trick-or-treating pails and spooky vehicles coming soon so you can walk all the way up so creepy but so cool in here is ezra the evil witch i am so excited she turned the wrong way hey lady i'm right here so she says Mwahaha, welcome to my lair i have many magical things to sell you i don't take gems though only souls so gather souls and bring them to me in exchange for magical goods so we can click show shop and we can see everything she's offering so she's offering a few other of these little um these little pails and witch cannons four souls i only have five souls i need to get a few more and then you know you can you can also just like white souls you can talk to her and she has more to say but i don't care what she has to say i want to donate to the good witch so here i am uh, jump all the way down and let's pull out our Ghostbuster backpack and, you know, try to fill up this witch's wand. Look at this. We need a billion souls. Oh my gosh. And then three billion. Oh, and pet pods stay for extra two weeks. Oh my gosh. So for five billion souls, the pet pods are going to stay here for so long. Guys, there's literally so much to do in this update. So let's get our radioactive cannon and let's just start showing you guys some of these cool new tasks. So we are going to collect some of the souls here. That's how you do it. You pull out your witch cannon and then you just hold down on the ghost. See, I can always shoot, but I need to be clicking on a ghost for it to work. And the ghost will kind of hover around and you will get your opportunities to collect them. That was worth eight souls. So let's go ahead and try to give our souls to the witch. Tell me more. I'm busy. Uh, tell me more. She's trying to collect as many souls as she can to turn them loose into Overlook Bay. She's going to use them to destroy the beautiful city. The evil witch is going to try to destroy the evil, the, the city, the evil city. It's not evil city. So, oh wait, I need a hundred souls to, to, um, to, oh. I only have 18. So guys, that is how you collect souls and that's what you can do with them. As you get better backpacks from the evil witch, you can collect more souls as in like it's it's faster so keep that in mind when trying to figure out where you want to give your souls to so let's just collect a few more of these bad boys right here before i move on and show you guys the next parts of the update let's get eight souls and then let's get you you there sir Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Of course, there's tons of sound effects and stuff too. Oh my goodness, and at night it's so spooky, but I love it. This is literally so fun. Okay, so now I'm addicted. Okay, hold on, let me let me grab this. Let me grab this guy real quick. <laughs> okay, next up, let's go check out the pets because I'm not sure if the pets are in here or if they're in the witch's lair up there. I should have looked around while I was up there, but alas, 
I did not. So let's just see what's if they're in here. Okay, okay, where, where are we at? Okay, they're not in here. I was wrong. And I knew I was gonna be wrong and I still tried it anyway. I still tried it. So let's go ahead and go back to the witch's lair and take a look at the brand new pets that have just joined Overlook Bay. Pet collection zero to 16. So we have 16 new pets with this new pet update. And as we can see, we have a hex cap for 3,500 souls or a godly unicorn for 800 so you can kind of see them the little ease in the way of course always so here is the hex cat she's so cute oh my goodness she's just so adorable look at her little tail and her little ears and then we can also pick ourselves up um a godly rainbow unicorn these are also just so so beautiful. I mean, take a look at that. We also have right here our very own claw machine. So we're going to need to buy some Halloween tickets. They're 500 to 1,000 souls. So I'm actually going to need to, I already got some souls. So let's just go ahead and buy some of those and then put them into the machine. And then we should get our souls right here. And throw. They look like little pumpkins. They're literally so cute. Cute. Oh my goodness. But guys, I'm not going to be doing a ton of pet opening. That is going to be a future video. <gasps> Look at him. Oh my gosh. That little red monster. What a cutie. Okay. And then we'll put this in. So that is an ultra rare Zerg, which we are so excited about. Give me another Halloween pet. Okay. Let's throw this out. Oh my goodness. I just ran on top of the pet pod and launched myself. That was so cool. So we already have the little hex cat. And look guys. Oh my gosh. What a cutie. So that is going to be the uncommon Torbo. What's a Torbo? I guess it's that. Okay. So now that we've taken a look at some of the pets, let's go ahead and jump down. And I want to show you guys, I think I want to save the mining for last because I'm the most excited about that. Oh guys, we got some Halloween tasks. Oh my goodness. Discover all crystals, unlock trick or treat pets, play Halloween event for 10 hours, uh, collect all Halloween pets and complete Halloween event. So let's get our daily tasks. And before we go into the neighborhood and we do some trick or treating, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport over to the wishing well so that I can go ahead and get my daily free wish. Cause everybody gets a free wish for day. And then like you could walk away, like just come over and do it. <gasps> guys, there's a ghost there. I should hunt him, but I'm busy. I gotta go. I wanna go trick or treating. Ooh, gems. Okay, so that's like just a free, free 50 gems, which we love. So let's go ahead. Like there's literally so much to do in this update. Collect our reward. Let's go over to the city here and um, let's go home. So what you're going to do to go trick or treating to get this little guy here with the candy is you are going to need to go into like, I like have my microphone here so I can't see my own screen. And we're gonna click on the crown here and get our pumpkin pail. So we only have zero candy right now. So we're gonna need a few more. So let's just start ringing these doorbells and collecting our trick or treat kitty. Oh my gosh, it's me. Welcome to my house. Guys, I actually do have the headless on. Oh my gosh, don't be so cruel. She threw that at me like, like it was nobody's business. So yeah, as we can see, I'm gonna have to do a good amount of trick or treating to save up for this little monster. Let's just go to a few more houses. So let's do this, okay. Oh my goodness, this, oh, it's you. This is Ezekiel, he's our new programmer. Twizzlers, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna close out these tasks because I don't really feel like doing them. <laughs> Story of my life, guys. And then, oh my gosh, we have like another ghost right here. They're literally everywhere. Yes, we ding dong. Want some treats? I do want some treats. 10? Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah, the rich house. Okay. <sighs> like when I, when Honey was showing me the soundtrack for this, I was just so scared. I was like, I can't listen to them anymore because I was getting so scared. <laughs> I know that's kind of silly, but it's true. Now that I've showed you guys the trick or treating, let's go over and I want to show you guys exactly like, you know, you can come and give your candy. We need 1,500, so it's going to take a while. So there you go. We fed him the candy and we're gonna have some time to go. So I'm gonna have some grinding to do. Let's go ahead and um, go back to the caverns. I wanna show you guys this. And also it's important to keep in mind that you have a long time to do this event. It's not meant to be completed in a day. We do have time, guys, we, we have some time. So what I wanna do now is show you guys my favorite part of the update, the mining, guys. This is so fun. So basically, whenever you mine, you have levels. As we can see, I'm level one. I got all the way up to level 10 while I was testing this update. Um, and now I have to start over at level one. So that makes me sad. But what you're going to do is you have a pickaxe here and you just walk up to these crystals 
and you just start hitting them. Now you're gonna wanna hit them a few times. Like it doesn't, it doesn't auto click for you. So you have to go and click each time and you can see the little health progression bar. It takes eight hits with the starter pickaxe to break open a crystal. So what you're gonna wanna do is definitely break all these crystals and get some gems. There is a total of six gems, I believe. There's one godly, one legendary, and then there's some like just regular gems, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and mine all of these. And guys, just so you know, these crystals, they do respawn every few minutes. So don't feel like they're gone forever. They will definitely respawn. Let's go. I want to show you guys the shop. Also, there is a leaderboard here. So do I think that there are mining events coming? Yes, I do. Look, guys, there's already people who are on the all-time board. I have three. I had like 100 whenever I was testing, but... Nope, not anymore. So we have Kathy crystals. She's in here. We can sell her our crystals. You know, kind of like how you can sell fish to the fishermen and you can sell clams to the fishermen and fruit to the farmer's market. And like, there's like literally so many ways to make money. So let's go to sell these. They're gonna buy it off for 13 souls which I'm pretty sure is just gonna turn to real currency after the Halloween event, but right now it's a really good way to make souls. So we're gonna click show stop, show, so stop, so stop. And we can see here that we need the rainbow pickaxe. So the rain, so here's the order. This pickaxe takes seven hits to break a crystal. This one takes six hits to break a crystal. This one takes five hits and then four hits for the rainbow. So I want to get the rainbow one. I need 5,000 gems, which I don't have. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and, oh wait, I need 5,000. So I'm, I'm just like, you know, paying to win. You can work your way up there pretty easily, especially with all the tasks and rewards and everything like that. Did I buy it or di I didn't buy it? World's best player. Buy this, check, buy. Okay, now I can go into my tools and we can see I have the rainbow chroma pickaxe luck times two. So it actually is going to help me get some better crystals so I can harvest more souls for this update. So one, two, three, Four, see how much faster that breaks that? It's literally amazing. Okay, we're just gonna keep on running around and collect a few more crystals. I wish I could get one of the godly crystals. Like they're literally so cool, but I'm collecting a good amount of fool's gold right now. I love this update and I kind of am now wishing that I live streamed. So maybe I'll end up live streaming at the end of this weekend, playing this update with you guys. And I'm just so glad that this is like a permanent installment in the game because I know I'm gonna get obsessive with this mining. <laughs> like this is my thing guys, like World of Warcraft, RuneScape, I was mining in those games and now we have it in Overlook Bay. Two, three, oh, and I almost forgot to mention, as soon as you hit level five, you get more gems. So you get rewarded as you level up. I cannot believe I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Like I really hope that you guys are finding this video informational because like I said, there's literally so much to do in this brand new update that it's kind of hard to like remember everything and also present it in a cohesive manner because I'm just so excited for it all. So I cannot believe I have 500 souls. I did buy them. So. Also, you can buy souls and then pay the good witch if you really wanted to help get to those um, levels. Do what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So I have 11 now. Guys, one day I'm gonna get on that leaderboard. You're gonna see my name. Sell my crystals. See, I got five fool's gold and three spirit rocks. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell them for 30 souls. Now I wanna go back to the Halloween event. I just love teleporting around. I hate walking. It's daytime. Okay, so let's go take our 500 souls and give them to the good witch. So 500 and that'll help us get to where we need to go. Cause oh my goodness, guys, look, we already have 66,000 souls saved so far. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get here in no time. The update literally just dropped, but guys, that is an overview of today's little video. I am so excited for this update. You guys have been so patient and I am in love with it. I'm going to be releasing more videos this weekend about the Overlook Bay update and specifically like different tasks. So let me know what you guys think you'd want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to play Overlook Bay, it is free to play now and it is linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.